Dana Harris Seeger. Welcome to my studio at Visual Philosophy. Today I want to talk about what is a substrate. And I use this term a lot, substrate, to, to talk about um, what I'm making artwork on. So it's, it's a sort of a mystical term, but it's really simple. And it's just the material or the surface that you're creating or putting something onto. So for instance, this painting, the substrate is a canvas, a stretched canvas that's been primed. So it has a little bit of flexibility. It's good for painting, acrylic painting, oil painting. Um, you can even draw on it. There are other, like, all types of substrates. Paper. This is a Duralar paper, and it's meant for uh, both dry media and wet media. So you can see I've got some watercolor, some pastel, and some screen printing. And this is sort of like a plasticky surface. So whatever substrate you're using, you want to make sure that it's gonna be appropriate for the materials that you're going to be working with. For instance, if I'm using a canvas as my substrate, um, but I'm using oil paint, I wanna make sure that the canvas is primed first because otherwise the oil might seep in and um, yellow and then eventually decay the raw canvas. So pay attention to those things. Knowing your materials, knowing your substrates will also help um, make your artwork archival, long lasting, and ultimately work. Uh, because some substrates don't aren't compatible with some materials. For instance, you wouldn't wanna put encaustic paint on something flexible like paper or uh, stretched canvas because with the flexibility, it will crack the encaustic paint. So with this painting, which has some collage, some encaustic, and some mixed media. I used a rigid substrate, which is just a cradled wooden board that's mounted on a um, frame, a wood frame. And that way it stays solid and the encaustic has no chance of flexing and cracking. Wood is a great substrate, it doesn't have to be mounted, it can just be a flat panel. Um, cardboard can be appropriate for certain things. Um, again, nothing that is going to leach oil or um, decay over time. Some substrates like newsprint or paper bags, cardboard, those things are not meant to be archival, meaning that they don't, ha they have acid in them, so the substrate itself will eventually decay. Um, so making sure that if you're going to be um, using a certain type of paper or cardboard that, and you want it to last, for instance, I want this this print that has collage, screen printing, um, some oil ink, oil-based ink. I want that to make sure that it lasts. If I frame it and sell it, I don't want it to start yellowing and eventually crumbling like some older papers do. And that's because it, this paper is archival. It's made acid-free so that the paper itself will last. Um, Paper is a great substrate. You can see that I've um, created a print and even um, glued one substrate onto another substrate. So these can be layered up um, depending on the, the type of material that you're using and how you ultimately want it to end up. Knowing your substrates and how they are compatible with different materials uh, is a really important tool for artists. 